But if you thought pre-nerf Jet was bad, she had nothing on the chamber meta. He had two global trips, teleports you could use basically halfway across the map, instantly on a 20 second cooldown, and his ultimate might as well have been a semi-auto with how fast it was shooting. Prime Chamber was absolutely disgusting and playing against him was so boring. And if you ever got tired of using your gun to break the doors on Ascent, for a while you were able to just throw a raised satchel at them and break them instantly. This could set you up for a pretty free kill while you would do this, and it also worked with other abilities like Yoru's Decoy and Killjoy's Alarm Bot. Killjoy's ultimate on the other hand was actually broken pretty easily a long time ago. It used to only take one raised satchel to break it. Playing against a Raze who knew how to break all of the common Killjoy alts was pretty brutal at this time, but thankfully Killjoy's ultimate ended up getting buffed. Something else you might not remember is that their practice range actually has an entire parkour course. This course was pretty popular in the early days of Valorant, but it's never really talked about anymore.